Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here today. Exciting, exciting because we're gonna talk about tricks. That's right, we're gonna talk about tricks. Joshua J, you've probably seen the book set that just recently came out, Vanishing Ink. $250 because there's almost a thousand tricks inside there. <laughs> I mean, I th there's like over 800 tricks inside those two volumes, $250, 12 years, 12 years of Joshua J's life uh, writing for Magic Magazine and what a collection, what a collection, but we're not going to review that. We're not, we're not going to review the books. We're <laughs> I hope to. I hope to one day. But today, we're actually going to review the video companion to it. Now, I bet you didn't know there was a video companion to it because this was a DVD. This was an L&L DVD. Okay? That tells you how old this is. Uh, this is an L&L DVD from a while back. It was a three DVD set. And now, because of the re-release, you're able to get it as a download. So you're going to get this as a download, um, three main videos and one bonus video, seven hours, seven hours of magic tricks, all video and most taught by the people that invented these tricks. Um, Joshua J spent a couple days uh, with some of his favorite magic creators. And these are some of the highlights. You could call these the best ofs of the book set. So maybe if you're a little overwhelmed, you're like, I don't know, 800, 800 tricks and two giant volumes and $250, that just seems like a lot. You can get the best of, plus it's done in video form, and this is only 50 bucks. $50 gives you seven hours of video instruction. Uh, shot back then, right? Shot back in the old l l style, but um, it's, it's a little bit more classy, a little bit more... Uh, a little more upscale than perhaps those. Not only are you going to get a ton of tricks, you're going to get uh, three interviews with Joshua J, and you're going to get a slights and moves section on each DVD as well. These videos are crammed full of awesome magic, and I want to jump right in and tell you all about it. That's right, LNL Publishing, Talk About Tricks, Volumes 1 through 3. Hosted by magician, performer, author, lecturer, Joshua J. You don't want to miss out on the most comprehensive, most inspiring download. And might I add the perfect compliment to the Talk About Tricks volume book set. Uh, overall quality and production value, it's old l, &L publishing, uh, right? And uh, all of these tricks are taken from Magic Magazine. And like I said, this was a DVD, so this is a rip from a DVD. So you're going to get the three main files and then six separate files. Uh, a lot of the separate files are going to be all the trailers that were on the DVDs. The first file is two hours long. It's all filmed at the same time. You got a performance venue with a live part of the crowd. Explanations are done at a table with two other magicians. The date will be on the screen for when it was published in Magic Magazine. Your first trick is Oil and Water. It's a three-phase routine by Joshua J. He also teaches Change for a 20 by Adam Ryan, which is an alternate ending. Then comes Impromptu Hitman by Rune Klan. This is a traveling coin and pen routine. Then Punk and Droker by Paul Cummins. This is a triumph with a royal flush ending. Then there's a trick with no explanation. It's called 10 for 10. The spectator shuffles and deals four piles and the top cards of all four piles are turned and they are all mated. The next trick is called X Dyslexically Shuffled by Francis Benatti. He starts off with a full deck in new deck order and he's speaking perfect vernacular, but as he shuffles the cards, his words get all mixed up as the cards get mixed up and he becomes harder and harder to understand. A card is selected and lost, and then the deck writes itself, and so does his speech. The next trick is called Gold from Straw Elevator by David Solomon. It's a rising aces from jacks effect. It's kind of done with a blackjack theme, and it has a poker kicker. Then there's Sweet Straw by Joel Givens, where you produce a stir straw, a large stir straw, from a small sweet and low packet. 
Then there's the 242 deal by Richard Vollmer. Uh, the magician gives the spectator a selection of cards, and they're able to choose the cards they want, leaving the magician with the leftovers, and every single time the magician has the better hand. After the trick section, you get an interview with Joshua J, and he talks about uh, his five years writing the talks about tricks column. And then there's a move section where you will learn the Erdnase break, the full palm change, Mayumph, false pharaoh, Babel's tilt, on back up, sideboards, divided shuffle, a tuck box balance, and kissing up and squist. The second video is three hours long. The first trick is an open prediction trick by Raj Mado. It's a 51 faces north effect. Then there's any card at any page by Joshua J. This is where a card is selected and lost. And when the number is called out, the spectator actually turns to the page number that's in a book and their card is there between the pages. Then there's a ninja coins trick by Joel Givens, riding the wave by Rick Mao. This is where you will take from a sealed envelope four of a kind that the spectator calls out there's an open prediction card by Emmanuel Lasser. Tap a lack by Paul Cummins. This is a performance only, no explanation is given. A coins across trick by Joel Givens. Kickback by Ryan Swigert, which is a sandwich effect and it's one of my favorite marketed effects. Then there's Switch by John Lovick and Illegally Yours by Greg Wilson. These are two tricks that are combined together to create a bill printing trick. Uh, I Dream of Mind Reading by John Lovick. The spectator's gonna deal cards while the magician's back is turned, and she's doing that as code for a card that she's merely thinking of. You then turn back around, reveal the card she's thinking of, and then also show that all the cards are blank. There's Beard Book by Rune Klon. This is a gimmick uh, gag trick where you have a large book of different beards, and you basically force a beard from the book, and that a beard appears on your face. Then there's a Coins Through the Floor trick by Rune Klon. My Lady's Other Ring by John Lovick. This is one of my favorite tricks on the entire series. You borrow a ring and a string. Uh, the ring pops off the string, vanishes off the string, and then reappears on someone else's finger. Of course, then there's another Joshua J interview with John Lovick, and then there's a move section where you will learn an ace location routine. Uh, this is Joshua J's teaching on a four ace production routine. Breakless aces, where the spectator cuts to the aces. Cutting off colors, no use aces, Hindu control, breeze coins, another coin trick. Uh, the other two follow, the rub-a-dub vanish, uh, and two uh, tricks that were found in the magazine, Yellow Zebras in Africa and Prediction Wand, that you kind of need the magazine for. Volume three is two hours long. You got Time is Money by Aussie Betts, and this is where you uh, borrow a dollar and it ends up under the spectator's watch. Laser Aces by Joel Givens. This is a gambling routine. King Face Aces by Adam Ryan. This is where two kings become the four aces in a sandwich trick. Muck You by Derek Delgado. This is a two card transpo, and it ends with a card up the spectator's sleeve. Here and There by Ken Gar. This is where the spectator's card becomes the aces, and there's also a transpo built into this. Then there's a coin and bottle routine by Rune Klon. Proof Positive by David Parr. This is a multiple out invisible coin routine that's really cool and kind of reminiscent of a John Bannon effect. Uh, Piano Seance by Raj Madoc. It's a fun little matching trick with business cards. And then there's another uh, no explanation trick by Paul Cummins called the trick that wasn't which is really an amazing triumph effect. Then there's a palm trick by Felipe Abreu. This is a card stab at using your cell phone. Overlap Hofnizer by Joshua J and Mark Aspiazu. This is where a spectator picks a card and then you find all three of their mates. There's a paper ball routine from Pete Lentini. Threesome by Jason Dean. This is where three cards are selected and then you show them three reveals, two of which use the cellophane on the tuck case, and then a matches trick from Joel Givens. There's the third interview, and then it moves into the last slights section. You're gonna learn slip shift from Joshua J, the riffle force finesse, the riffle force variant, the turnover pass, hold em from Paul Cummins, stairway to heaven from Reynold Alexander, cloud change, and the Erdnays variant. You'll also learn a handling for Skinner's Monty. There's some behind the scenes, and then there's two extra bonus videos. <laughs> well, there's two extra bonus stuff. So uh, the first bonus is you're gonna get an 18 minute file 
with like, I think four or five or six tricks for the overlap card. Now the overlap card appears in so many different gaff decks. There's a whole bunch of gaff decks that include the overlap card. Sometimes the overlap card has a card back. Sometimes the overlap card can be turned over to look like a single card. So uh, a lot of great tricks ideas, even just for that one card that you probably already have in a card box. And then, like I said, I think there's two or three uh, other files that are just LNL trailers. They're fun to watch. You get to see like old school LNL videos, <laughs> right? But like I said, tons of tricks, tons of slights. Even, even some of those slights that I just mentioned, those, those moves per se, they, they pitch them as, well, these aren't really tricks. They say that all the time. These aren't really tricks, but they are. So many of those moves that they teach could be tricks in of themselves if you just incorporated them into something else or just put a little flash on them, right? Some of those uh, moves they were like ace productions and they, they could totally be tricks all by themselves with just a little bit of work. So you are getting a ton of material, just a literal ton of material. Seven hours for 50 bucks, that is dirt cheap. And let me just say for positives, the talk about tricks video downloads are the perfect uh, companion for the talk about tricks books. But I think you should get these no matter what because there's so much great material here. These are classics that should be watched by everybody. Really the only negatives to this is it's shot a little older, right? Because it's an older video. So if you really care about people's fashion, <laughs> it's, and, you know, it's, it's, it's filmed in square box, not letter box. Eh. And um, there's a couple of effects that require you to have a gaff card you may not have. And like I said, there's a couple tricks where they show you some, some inserts that came with Magic Magazine. And of course you might not own those, but really that, those are so small compared to all the mountainous shovel after shovel after shovel of magic tricks and ideas they're giving you with this, the, the negatives won't even matter. And I, like I said, I guarantee you, you've got one of those, you've got one of those uh, overlap cards in one of your boxes at home. You do, you do. Is it worth your money? 50 bucks, $50 is totally worth your money. That's like the cost of two downloads, right? And you're getting seven hours. Of magic. Lots of tricks by Joshua J, by the way. Um, Joshua J, if you're a big Joshua J fan, he comes out a lot and teaches many of those tricks. Many of those tricks. The crowd's fun. Joshua J's fun. Uh, Rune Clan is hilarious. Uh, yeah, I, like I said, if you have the books, you should totally get this as a companion just so that you have some video for some of the tricks that are included. And if you think the books are out of reach and you probably won't get them, then get this. Okay, get this. All right, that's me talking about tricks. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And if my videos help you or I answer questions that you were asking, do me a favor, hit like, hit subscribe, hit follow. That really helps me out a lot. And big, huge thanks to Murphy's Magic Supplies and Vanishing Ink for allowing me to have this so that I could do the review for you. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time, bye.